heading outside to enjoy a run or a walk is part of how we live in Wisconsin. And right now it's race season across our area. Many people are gearing up to compete. And this morning we are live at Fleet Feet in the Fox Valley to help you get ready for race day. Leah Shapiro is joining us now with more. Good morning. Okay, hey, good morning everyone there in the studio. We're, yeah, we're outside on a very beautiful morning. This is the perfect uh, season to be out enjoying the weather, the spring weather that we have here in Wisconsin. And what you see are a couple different examples of how to layer for this type of weather. It's a beautiful sunshiny day, but it can start out a little bit cool. So having some kind of a jacket that has a zipper or even a vest that has adjustability so that as you get your workout started, you're wearing something that's covering up that core, keeping the core warm. And then as your body temperature starts to rise, your body warms up and loosens up, then you can adjust and potentially even take that off. Uh, wind is a factor this morning. And so having an example like Trey has this jacket that has a little bit more windproofing to it, that's gonna cut some of that cold temperature from getting into your chest. And again, allow you to be able to warm up. You wanna have things on that are breathable. So the closest, the material that's closest to your body, you wanna make sure that that's something that's technical. So it's gonna pull the moisture away so that your body doesn't get damp and cold when you're out there working out. So whether you're walking the dog or you're going out for a morning run, one of your final workouts before Cellcom weekend that's coming up, just making sure that you're adjusting and then take note. So if you have an uh, outfit that works for you make sure that you make note of the temperature and what you wore so that you can replicate that again thanks Leah we'll post all the information to our website for you and stay with us good day Wisconsin we'll be right back many people are gearing up for their half or full marathon race this morning we are spending some time at Fleet Feet in the Fox Valley to help you get ready for race day Leah Shapiro is one of the owners and has more good morning Okay, we're back inside and we're hanging out by our nutrition station and Amy's getting stocked up for the long run that she has coming. One of the nice things about having a vest of some kind or a belt, and we'll take a look at a vest in a second, is that this is how you can carry your nutrition, carry your phone, carry anything else that you need. We have some folks that will need to carry an EpiPen with them when they're out working out, or if you're walking the dog, carry some doggy bags in there for the poop bags. Um, there are different kinds of nutrition, and the key to using any of these, Emily, is that you wanna find the substance that works best for you. There's different calories on the back. There are different flavors, different textures. Some of them are a little more like a melted frosting. This one's a little more like a little kid's like applesauce texture. So if you're if a texture is an issue for you, then you want to find the right one. So playing around a little bit and treating this kind of an area like a buffet where you can practice during your workouts when it doesn't matter quite as much as race day, that's the way to do it. The key is stoking the fire and getting fuel into your body on an ongoing basis. If you're doing, if you, for those of you that are training for a half or full marathon this spring, you should not be going it alone. You should have some kind of nutrition um, with you and some water as well. So another way to carry your water and carry stuff with you is a vest like this. Trey's got um, room for his phone and he's also got the water bottle here and then he's got little pockets to be able to put nutrition in. So again, the key is carrying everything with you if you need it. If you are not aware, if you're signed up for a race and you're not sure what nutrition that they have out on the course or something that doesn't agree with you, then you've got to be able to have this with you. So the key is being able to carry it with you. One more nutrition that I want to show you is around the corner here. Um, this is Tailwind. Tailwind can go in and if you're carrying a handheld water bottle, Tailwind or Scratch are both options for you to put in to your water bottle and then di either dilute it to the comfortable sort of thickness for you um, and, or you drink water. You can drink water out on the course and then take something like this with you that has the electrolytes, the sodium, the magnesium, the potassium with you. Um, so that you can be putting that into your body too. It's not enough typically in a long run to have just water. You need to have some other nutrition with you to keep fueling your body. Heading outside to enjoy a walk or a run is part of how we live in Wisconsin. Right now it's race season across our area. This morning we are spending some time at Fleet Feet in the Fox Valley to get you ready for race day. Leah Shapiro is here with more. Hi. Hey, studio team. So we've got these guys all geared up and ready to go for a mock race day with all their gear on. They're stretching and warming up. So there are a couple do's and don'ts that we want you to know about. First and foremost, don't line up for race day in the shoe that you trained in. Believe it or not, you want to get a brand new shoe. Maybe not the day before or the moment before the race, but for those that are coming up in the final weeks of the race, you want to have something new. If you take a look at my old and tired shoe and the fact that it's got these creases, it's broken down. So when you've put in all that mileage and all that training, why show up on the race 
you know, on the start line of your race in something that's put in all that time and energy. Get a couple long runs in in that brand new shoe so you can be ready to go, but you're getting something that's nice and fresh and it's gonna take you to the finish line, just like you had planned. Couple other race day things, plan for every possible scenario. We don't know if the weather conditions, particularly in the spring, are gonna be warm or cold. It doesn't mean that you need to panic, but if suddenly the temperature goes up, having something like a little extra nutrition or some electrolyte tablets that you can chew so that your water is being absorbed a little bit better, those are gonna be really good things for you to do. And have that jacket back up just in case or an extra pair of sunglasses. You never know what weather conditions are gonna come in, that you're gonna come in contact with, and you don't want that to be something that throws your, throws your plan off. Couple other things to keep in mind, don't wait to pack or prep. Make sure you get in and get the nutrition. If you're gonna get some brand new race day shirt, have a run or two in it. Get the body glide and have a little bit of backup lubricant so that you can put that in some of the places that maybe historically have chafed for you. Get all that stuff ready to go so that you're not running around the final days leading up to the race looking for what those items are. Do have an A, B, and C goal if all if all stars are aligned, that A goal is the day that you want to have, terrific. But if that isn't the day that you have, you never want to cross a finish line disappointed in everything that you accomplish. So having a B goal that's a little more realistic, and maybe the C goal is even just, hey, crawl across the finish line with a smile on my face. It's okay to have those kinds of goals after you've put all that time and energy into preparing for the race. And last but not least, don't forget the selfie. This is what social media is all about, you guys. So make sure that you get that picture so that you can celebrate what you've accomplished. Great looking group right there. Thanks, Leah.